Joe Biden is in Northern Ireland. But why does America see herself as the guardian of the Belfast Good Friday Agreement? And what does this visit say about UK-US relations? The United States claims a strong historic connection with Ireland due to her large Irish-American population. Migration from the island of Ireland played a formative part of the American story in the 19th century, and today over 10% of Americans claim Irish heritage, including the current president. Perhaps because of this, during the three decades of the Troubles, transatlantic relations became strained on numerous occasions, not least on St. Patrick's Day in 1976, when US presidential candidate Jimmy Carter wore a badge that read, England out of Ireland. Yet by 1987, the House of Representatives in the States voted through an aid package of $250 million to Northern Ireland. And by the 1990s, the US and UK were working far more closely on matters of security. From the Gulf War to Kosovo, British and American security interests were more aligned. And the Blair-Clinton friendship, as well as ideological kinship, formed a basis for cooperation. Clinton saw himself as an unaligned peacemaker, although many in Ulster were suspicious given his decision to grant a US visa to Jerry Adams. In 1995, Bill Clinton became the first US president to visit Northern Ireland, with his visit a strong sign in the ongoing peace process, at that time being worked on by John Major's government. Clinton, in his visit, urged dialogue, calling on nationalists and unionists to engage in constructive conversations. His visit paved the way for the former US Senator George Mitchell to become the chairman of the peace talks that eventually led to the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. And on the 10th of April 1998, the agreement was signed. The summation of decades of diplomatic work between the British, American and Irish governments beginning an era of peace and camaraderie both Sunak and Biden will seek to maintain during this week's visit. Tom Harwood, GB News.